presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Hi folks, Basil Chapman sitting here for Tom O'Brien and uh, we're looking at a Dow uh, that is up 218 points at 34,379. That sounds big, but these days with 1,000 point moves up and down, that's just kind of par for the course. In fact, there's a little mini, uh, channel. look at this, this doji candle right here, sorry, this Roman Chapman with Roman candle right here with a tiny wick, a long uh, body, the uh, the wick at the bottom, the shadow at the bottom, and now we're trading nicely to the top side. There are a whole bunch of implications. We'll get to that. But, you know, I, listening to that commercial just a moment ago, I, I really think that that sums it up for many of us and even for the hosts. I, I don't think there's any one of the hosts that doesn't, when they have a chance, try to listen to one of the shows and just kind of think, wow. That's really interesting that you know, built, a, built, a, built a technique on something that I never thought of. I must listen to it closely, uh, how it pertains to the market. Uh, and that's really what we try here at TFNN is to be an educational uh, resource. I remember when I spoke to Tom O'Brien back in 2002, I believe it was. I met him up in his New Hampshire studio. Uh, we had been in touch. I'd sent him some charts, and over the period of a couple of months, they evidently were quite correct. So he went to meet with me, and we met. And I don't go through the whole thing other than to say that when he, at the, within 15 minutes of us meeting together, and me showing him different charts and doing some things live, when he said, would you like to join TFNN? I said to the first thing I said to him was, I'd love to, but for me, it's really about education. Uh, independently, if you mind trading and all that stuff, but this is education. And I, kinda, I think that that's what we've done here at TFNN. We've built a huge resource for the whole educational aspect. And um, now let's get straight to the market. What we're looking at is the Dow is up a little more. It's up 247. There are a couple of things going on. No, let me just do all the numbers and then I'll tell you what I think is going on. S&P is up uh, 53 at 43.79. So the Dow is up 0.72%. The S&P is up 1.22 because we've got a couple of Dow stocks like Caterpillar that are down quite sharp. But then you've got Visa up huge. And American Express the other day had really good earnings. It was up huge. So it's a very mixed market in many ways. The QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle, uh, we're looking at uh, a 347.18, up 6, up 1.7%. It sounds like a good number, but look at this chart. I'll talk about it in a moment. We just finished all the, not the notations here in the chat wave. Leg D to downside in IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps. They've just been failing. They've just not done very well. When you think about them at 244.46 on the 8th of November, trading uh, down to one. 88.09 this morning, now at 191.79. Wow, that, look at this, this is a propeller shaft in the weekly, weekly chart spoken for months, almost all year, about this rectangle formation, how we can go above it in the Chapway methodology. I have a whole bunch of uh, webinars based on that, besides my newsletter, the opening call, where I discuss these things. But a narrow trading range means that there's a chance at the upper end of the of the range says that you there's a good chance that you're going to break to the upside and if you do it with a peak d in the chapter wave notation that's the fourth highest peak from that moment on you've got to be careful because of the vulnerability well lo and behold it went back it tested 
the 207 support. It had a nice bounce to the 221 area, and then boom, it breaks like a propeller shaft. Look, on the upside, you've got the blade. There's the big fulcrum in the middle. Now you've gone to the downside. Unfortunately, we've gone a little deeper to the downside than we should have. This is the weekly chart, and the MACD is very weak. The stochastic is down at 14%. On balance volume is getting oversold, but really bad. And the 9 period moving average for a couple of weeks now has crossed negative. So that says that you've got a sell, sell mode in the daily chart. You've got a sell mode. That's just a description. Remember, it doesn't say, oh, my God, sell mode. Everything's going. No, it just says at this point, it's in a sell mode uh, because it's achieved certain uh, certain levels of support and then broken them. Uh, and on the weekly chart, look at this. If we close anywhere near here, that means there's a really good chance. I have to at least consider that the monthly chart is very close to a sell signal. And then it gets upgraded to a sell mode if it goes lower, but that 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 becomes quite serious. But look, the nine period in the week monthly chart is still way above the 14. So that says, uh, uh, don't get too carried away. The, the the technicals, the key technicals that I follow in the monthly chart are still positive. Let's get to gold. I want to do as many of these as we can. Gold is trading down uh, about six points at 1789. Talk about the rectangle formation. I'd identified this quite a while back, and I said, look, as you this is. This is the core of the major trading in gold between 1840s and 1760s. That's really the, the fulcrum, the middle point. We've gone above, we've gone below it. Now we're heading towards the low part. And that just says that the whole area of 1760, we're at 1789 right now, should become very important support unless... You see, you see this here? It's like a head and shoulders pattern. I don't like those patterns. I mean, I, I know they're around. I don't like them because when you finally recognize that it is a head and shoulders, that's when it's already broken and it's ready to bounce. But what I am looking at is if you look at the, the, the way the MACD is turned down in the weekly chart, if you look at the way this on balance volume has just made a V-shaped reversal, inverted V-shaped reversal, and the stochastic is very poor at 48%, it's just saying there's a little bit of vulnerability in gold that says it's still stuck in a trading range. Range, but you've got to be careful that it doesn't start to make in the weekly chart lower highs and lower lows. And the only reason why I say that uh, is because, let me just quickly finish silver and I'll tell you why I'm saying that. Silver is almost the same thing. Uh, a little bit weaker chart formation. It's getting closer to the lows. Uh, it's broken key support in a, in a trend line. Look at this three times hit, almost exact time frame. Not pattern, but time frame of the arch formation. It's gone under it. Uh, just be real careful because if, if silver trades under 19.75, it's vulnerable to go down to, what did I say? Uh, closes under 21.94. I don't know what I said before. 21.94, then it could retest that low that was made back on, I think it was December 13th or something. December 15th at 21.41. All right, the reason why I'm saying this is because the dollar is in leg C in the Chapman Wave. We're always looking for at least four higher peaks. Should go to a leg D, and then you got to be careful. Well, the weekly chart is in leg D. The monthly chart is made, made a leg C, but the um, daily chart is only in leg C. In Basil's dollar, why do I say that? Because in 2018, in April, we went along the dollar. So it go from 90 to 103, 102.99. Pull back to 89.21 and now have a really good rebound. If you've just remained long, we have taken one little bit off at 96. I'll be back. Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien. We'll be having a look at the, uh, the E-minis in a moment. We'll do Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today. And try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting for the one and only Tom O'Brien, and we're looking at the the evening one-minute chart. Going to Chapman Wave Peak G right here. Uh, this is I, I drew this in a little. Uh, no, was I on air when I did this? No, I think it was off air. Um, I did this peak E right there at about two o'clock. And then it comes down from about the 4376-ish area, comes all the way down to 4320. I mean, that's a big move in 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 minutes. We're talking about from two o'clock to two thirty. I mean, thirty minutes. And then what it does do? It starts to move up. And I drew this in where I used the bottom line, and I call it the Chapman wave. Left side, right side, price, time match. Usually, it shapes like a like a U. Um, if you can pick out the bottom and everything looks visually, I, it, it's hard to do on a computer, but visually it's so easy to see. When you start to make higher highs and higher lows, you say, hey, maybe we can have um, the left side price that was right here at 43, 43, 43, 46 point 50 in the e, e mini, S&P e-mini, at 14.01, two, uh, one minute past two in the Eastern time, which comes down to the low of uh, 14.31, yep, 14.31, 2.31 to 43.22.75, make a left side, right side price time match using the fulcrum of the base. It's, it's nice when you visually think, hey, this could really work visually. And then what happens is you wait for your moving averages to cross positive. Look at the MACD, the way it already started moving high. This is one of the few times that it coincided with the low because it already started turning up. Histogram was moving up. The um, stochastic was moving up. And then it flattened out above 80%, which is usually very good. And what happens is, it goes to peak D, then it's what's called the Chapman Wave Instant Restart, because with the three bars, it makes a new recovery high. So it gives you alternate count E slash A. Turns out you can just, because the MACD is so strong, you can just go continue as if the count had restarted. A, B, C, D, E. And now comes the really interesting thing. Is this now um, an E and an F? You can't, you can't go higher than a G. Well, I put the G in. It did pull pull back, and that says, whoa, you have to do a recount now. That has to become that D, the low off the D, is much higher than the low that was made right here at 13, uh, 15, uh, 14, 14 minutes past 3 o'clock. So this starts a brand new 
That's not a G. This is in the one minute chart, a brand new peak A and a peak B. And what's really important about this, and this is where I was going to come to, and I wanted to do this while I, I, this moved a little quicker than I wanted. I wanted to say there was an alternate count here. And if it restarts, we should go to at least a D in the one minute chart. But wait a minute, I, this will move so quickly. I wanted to show the pattern right here. There's a technique that I call the falling axe formation. Why? It looks like this. You've got yourself a rally, and then it starts to make lower highs and much lower lows. Then all of a sudden, it finds some support. If the next price move takes out that re declining trend line, you can get, there's a possibility that you can get a one-to-one -one where it goes up in the same angle, the same number of bars to test the left side high, or maybe even break it. Wait a minute, didn't we just see that? Yep, there it is. There's your peak D. Remember at D, you've got to be a little careful. Yellow light comes on. Well, it does pull back, makes lower highs and much lower lows. And then all of a sudden, it takes out that trend line. So right now, it's up 61 in the E-mini, 4379, because I can't do anything now because I'm, I'm in the middle of the show. But this took out the left side high, and that could start a leg E in the 10-minute chart. But this has got a down arrow, and now a new up arrow. Could be completely wrong, but this is the way we do it here, with using the Chapman Bay methodology. MACD cross positive in the one minute chart. Stochastic's now at 86%, over 80% is what you want to see. You want to see the nine over the 14. So far, this looks like we should have a good rally. And now I can get to what I wanted to explain just a few moments ago, when I was doing the different indices. And that was to say, yeah, there are a couple of questions. I'm going to get to all your questions. Um, I wanted to say that within the context, is, I'll go to the Dow for now, just because I need something you can see. Here's the daily chart. Here's the weekly chart. Here's the monthly chart. It feels like it's fantastic. But there are times where the price, that's how you get a rectangle formation, because you keep bumping into resistance and keep bump, holding support on the way down. So what I normally do is I grab, now it's done it enough times, I grab these outer lines and I say, you know what? That's the, that's the level we're looking at. And then if I can make a smaller one, I go like this and I say, okay, here's the smaller one. So it says that in the Dow, what we've got is a rectangle formation. And every time it gets to the outer limit on the upside, you think, oh, it's going to break out. And what happens is there's this, there is, there is a slew of cell programs or cells that people have, and you just get this wash of selling. And what does it do? It goes all the way down to the support level. And then you've got a wash of buyers saying, hey, you guys are nuts. I've never seen bargains like this. I am going in. And that's how it keeps going up and down and up and down within a range. When it breaks out of that range significantly, you've got a trend, especially when you've had the volatility index VIX.X, here we are, the volatility index. As I said this morning in one of my early morning shows, usually I do the Tiger Technicians Hour at 10 o'clock. I did do Tommy O'Brien's market kickoff early this morning, and we were just bouncing around just like you're looking at right now. And uh, I'd said if the volatility index can start to go into the 28th or even the low 28th, as the market, as the Dow has a, like 150 or more point rally after 3 o'clock, that, in fact, could be a, a big positive. It's kind of what, in a way, I'm waiting to see, but I need other evidence to say this is going to be a, a big, big move to the upside on Friday, uh, on Monday. Um, but this is what I was thinking. And I've seen this often enough that I, I think I've got a kernel of truth. There's almost no way of actually identifying it and proving it, but I'm going to put, in, put, put it forth right here. There are moments, I call it the nudge factor, and what happens is, years ago, we used to have these buy and sell programs. And everybody would say, oh, now they're coming in with a buy program. It isn't they. What happens is almost like an options expiration on Fridays. Most of the time, and I know this from having spoken to just not many, but enough CEOs of company, big companies, who, um, and the most part have no clue about their stock price. You think, oh, yeah, they're going to buy there. Most of the time, they're so busy with the company, they just 
they have no clue. They, they, they just ponder. We've got such fantastic products and everything, and the, and the stock's going down. Or we, we have nothing. We have no inventory. We have nothing. Everybody thinks that our company is doing fantastic. It's going up. I don't know how it's doing that. And that's almost the same thing as the nudge factor in the market. So that when we see there are tra enough traders now, and I don't mean you and I, I'm talking about traders in the, in the hedge fund. This, these are, this is big money. Million, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, they're just putting it to work, boom, like that. That the, if they anticipate that there's going to be a turn, say, down, and all of a sudden it starts to move up, they have to make decisions so quickly, sometimes it's done by computer, but so quickly, and maybe they just went short, they're going to cover that short and they're going to move with the trend as quickly as possible. That's the nudge factor. And I suspect a lot of the time, the big players in the market every day are kind of clueless, but they've got years and years and thousands of trades and they use that ability for their trading. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting for the one and only Tom O'Brien. I was asked if I would just show a two-minute chart of the E-mini because it's the same principle that I use in the monthly charts, daily charts, one-minute charts, doesn't matter. So you see this low right here at the 230 level uh, at a time frame. So this first peak is called peak A. Next one goes to peak B, and you see all of a sudden things cross positive, all these technicals cross positive. The next high is there, peak C. 
big D. That's where you've got to be a little careful. Look what happens. It has a couple of bars of quite a big pullback to the 14 period moving average. Then it goes right back and it goes to an E, an E, and then an F. So that says at F, you've got to be really careful. Now, the, the what I call the day, the one minute chart that went to peak C, that should have gone just a slightly higher to go to a D. It didn't. That can fail. That's OK. But look, the, the uh, two minute chart is saying just be real careful right now because uh, we've achieved that level that goes between the trading bands. And I, I drew in the rectangle here. It went a little bit above and now it's a little bit below. I just wanted to show you that as part of the techniques that we use in the Chapman Wave methodology. OK, now there's a bunch of things, questions that come in. I had a question earlier on, on LABD. LABD. LABD is three times long. Uh, this is three times. Oh, is that short? No, this is the LABD. Is it, the direction daily three S and P biotech bear three times the IBB. That's the um, IBB is the biotech. So now what we're looking at is oh you want the LABU. That's the other one. All right, you want the real one, which is the LAB looks LABU looks exactly like the um, the IBB. Look, let me show you. Here we come. Ready? Keep your eye on the left side chart. That's the daily. Okay, so it looks the same. So the IBB went to a lower, a lower low today, at leg E. Now this is, to me, this is totally fascinating. On the shorter term, so many of these indexes or sector ETFs or funds have pulled back really sharply. And even here, you've got a potential doji candle for some kind of a turnaround going into next week. My biggest concern is this. There's no way. I mean, with two days to go, I'm about to put at a peak F in the, in the monthly chart of the IBB a down arrow which says, uh-oh, it's at least a sell scene. It could even be a sell mode in the monthly chart. So any rally now says it might. You've got the nine period moving average of 129.28, then 132. So the question really was on volume. So we go back to the LABU, and the volume is... A little doji candle once again. This could be a turnaround uh, for Monday, but at one on the 28th, it's the volume is 25 million and 39, and the last low on the 24th was 38.2. And now uh, I have to go back because I uh, yeah we go uh, on the LABU day you day I add. It has broken Monday's low on what will likely be 20% less volume. Okay, that's just about what I was going to say. 20% less volume. And so far, the price has rejected the low. Would love a close over $16.60. All right, so let's just, if you don't mind, everything is going to apply to the IBB because most people will be looking at the IBB. A lot of people, in fact, are in the IBB. So if you don't mind, the whole thing will apply as well to the IBB because that's what has to move for the LABU three times long to move so 5.7 volume on the 24th and 3.6 so far today all right so it's kind of comparable so the question really was what about energy the en how does energy get used and what my what my my contention is that sometimes volume is really talking about energy it's the fuel and to really get the fuel um to kick in with, uh, if you're not using a battery, you have to be using a, a carburetor, or at least you have to use a regular um, engine, um, an automobile engine, let's just say. Um, and that says, yes, you have run out a little bit on the, on the fuel side, and you are hoping that the torque set up, that the wheel spin, is catching on today, gripping the, the asphalt today, and that will take off. So I like to look at it a little differently. What I like to look for, and you see this is a big clue for me, you see the doji candle setting up me on Monday, as bad as Monday was at the beginning, we landed up on Monday opening at 124.13. Then we went intraday to 126.69 and had a low of 122.50 on the weekly chart. And we we're at, well, the day, it hasn't closed yet, but it's at 126.20. So all I can say is, let me just double this, check this to see if it's not today's action. 
Oh, it opened, right, I thought that was wrong. 126.73 on Monday. That's what I really want to get. And right now, that's why it's a doji candle, because right now, it's just kind of at the, <laughs> you could have gone away for the week on Monday and you're back where you started. Now, what I wanted to say is within the context of the use of volume, I don't get anything on the day, on the 24th. I do get the V-shaped pattern right here today. And this is exactly, I thank you for bringing this up because it just takes me to the next thing. And tomorrow for my subscribers to my opening call, usually on a Saturday and a Sunday, it's usually a Saturday, I have a, a quite a lengthy video. It's called the overview. I do a whole assessment of our positions. We've actually raised a lot of cash. I think we're almost ready to start putting money to work. And uh, so I'm gonna do a lot of work this weekend. But I wanted to talk about this. You see this V-shaped bottom? in the on balance volume here. I'm going to show you something. I don't know it's I'm, I'm doing this uh, hoping that it elucidates information for both of us. Look at the low that was made right here on the 4th of there's a daily chart in the IBB on the 4th of March of 2021. Look at that ictus, look at that low V shaped pattern. That was the low. It's still the low, even though the price has gone below it. In the on balance, that's how I use volume. On the on balance volume, look at the high that was made right there on the 8th of February of 2021. It's either exact, no, it's one bar earlier than the actual high of the IBB at 174.04. So, I like to use this. It doesn't work all the time. It's just one of the myriad tools, Sears and Roebuck toolbox that I've got. So I'm saying to you, I like your concept that there's a chance that we are trying to make some kind of, even if it's a bounce low, that's, right, that's all it could be right now. We've come from 177 down to 122. I would just say that 55 points on a $177 stock is a serious blow. It's about a third, right? So what I am looking at, there's a, there's a really good chance that, that that rectangle formation that we're looking at in the Dow the, the, from the 24th of January low that was made on Monday, in many of the indices, I think if we hold well, and if today, instead of finally selling off at the end, we actually have a burst of energy, and whatever happens over the weekend, oh, I, I have six or seven things I want to tie together here. So let me just answer you and say, Dan, that was the question. And I'm just going to say to you that XB, uh, is the LABU related more to the XBI? Well, they look the same. That's the S&P Biotech. Whatever it is, what I am looking at here is that there's a chance that we could have with, if there's no conflagration over the weekend and we come into Monday, I'm beginning to think that almost all the selling has to be done. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman sitting in for the one and only Tom O'Brien. I'll be back. That was a 321. Nice. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Hi, folks. We're back. Basil Chapman for Tom O'Brien. Dow's up 350. S&P's up 70. This is really interesting. Remember the nudge fact I was just talking about? So this was really important with everything going on, with the possibilities that maybe there could be some invasion or whatever it is. Um, and you cannot take that lightly. The, the nudge factor is said to those folks that are just waiting on the sideline saying, you know, maybe I should get it, maybe I shouldn't get it. I just don't know. Oh, my God, oh my gosh, they're running, and they're running into Friday. That means they're expecting that Sunday night will be okay, Monday could be good. I better get in. That's the nudge factor. All right. I would prefer to look at things a little bit more uh, um, uh, objectively, if possible. Hard to do in the market. So let me just do a couple of things here. Uh, the VIX index, in fact, is now in the low 28s, 2807. That's a really positive sign. We've only got, what, 15 minutes or so to go to the closing bell on a Friday, a day before the final day on Monday. Oh, the two days. No, Monday. Monday is the last day of the month. So we're going to be watching this closely. Remember, my rule of thumb is that the VIX index on a Friday, you want to see, is it holding green, which it only rarely does all the way into Friday and follows through with a big green candle the next Friday. Look at this. We had a huge move to 38.94, and now we're closing. Well, the day's not closed, but we look, it looks like we're closing towards the low part of this candle of the weekly chart of the VIX index. And this is fair Russia. We've got all these things that we're worrying about, virus. I even had to put virus in the background now because it's more other things. And look what's happened. Now it's under 28. So I'm saying that there's a chance, and I want you to get to this. I want to make this point a couple of times today. And I'll be discussing this tomorrow in my um, overview uh, video that I'm making for my subscribers. There is just a ton of stuff I want to look at. I want to know. I want to be able to try to objectively step back. For instance, we've got some really, uh, we had long-term positions that had fantastic gains, and we took profits on the way down, but we still get some kind of a core. And the question came in, why are you still holding it? Why didn't you sell those? Because they were leaders of, of their sectors and were doing so well that if we were get to come back, I want to see how they take off again. I want to maybe add back what we took back. That's the reason why I wanted to keep them. One we were taken out of. I'm very upset about that. That's more an economic thing that we've got to look at. Talking about the economic thing, let's look again like we did yesterday at Syntas. Syntas is the overalls, uniforms and rentals. The question came in, are we in a recession or are we going to a recession? And I said, we have been in many recessions, sector recessions. There's a terrible uh, recession from 461. Uh, in Syntas Corporation, CTAS, all the way down to the low of Monday at 371. I would call almost 100 points uh, of decline in a 461 point uh, stock at 20, over 20 percent. That is, that is serious. So this damage doesn't get repaired in a moment, but it does say 
that there could be a pretty strong two to three or four week bounce, make that H pattern, then come back and retest the low. Well, I have to do the analysis of the close today, but I'm beginning to say, I, I don't know how much bearishness can come of, of all the, look at this, if you go to the QQQ, um, trying to rally is now up eight at 349. This is a better candle than it was an hour ago. That's a good sign, but look, <laughs> nothing. If you, there's nothing to see here. You have to start trading the 360s to say, oh, this could be really good. So, and look, there's a potential doji candle in the weekly uh, chart. So it's very selective. So I want to go through all these things. I want to discuss crude oil. I think crude oil, now this is the interesting thing. What if crude oil has a pullback because everything's just put on hiatus for the next week or two, uh, as far as uh, Russia is concerned, politically, we're just stepping back here. And then you see uh, crude oil in leg D, You've got CVX, an incredible multinational oil company, pulling back sharply from a peak D in the Chaffin wave. That's where you've got to be careful. 137, round number high yesterday. Can you believe a round number at 137? Exact. And now it's down uh, five points at 130 in at a peak D, a leg D in the weekly chart, a leg D in the monthly. What if we just have an amelioration of all the turmoil and we have things step back? And then all of a sudden, NG, which is natural gas, which very often, not always, but very often trades in counterpoint to oil, or it doesn't have quite the same veracity as oil. It's almost independent. It's really weather-related and many other things. What a really nice bounce today, more than a bounce, 8% right now, giving back some of the gains. Went all the way to 4.876. This is a natural gas, but if you look at UNG, which is probably what the vehicle that most people would trade. It is in leg D. It's gone above the resistance that I showed subscribers to my opening call this morning. And um, it's the MACD's good stochastics allows it 47%. On balance volume is running. The relative strength is improving. So I think that we've got to keep up. We've got to be able to rotate through the different sectors and say what's working and what's not. Look, the IYT. This IYT is the transportation index. The transportation index, I shares the Dow Jones Transportation Average Index, too many words, um, makes these double tops are unbelievable. 287.40 in May, plummets down to the 240s, screams up to where? 281.45, tumbles down to the 255 level, screams back up to 280.87, and now is making a leg D with a nice candle at the bottom. I'm saying we're going to have to watch next week really closely. I just don't know how many, how much worse can it get at this point unless the whole tide, not just the daily and weekly tides have turned, but the monthly tide has turned. Remember, I look at the tide. That If you can identify the tide, it'll save you. If you're going short and the tide is going down, you'll be saved even if you're wrong briefly. If you're long and the tide's going up, the chances are you'll be saved even if it pulls back a little bit. Most importantly, why would people on a Friday unless they're being forced to because of end of the month buying that they need to do, why would you have a rally of uh, 400 points in the Dow right now when earlier on we were down over two or 300 points? So this is very important. So what I am looking at here is this rotation is going to be so important. I'll be discussing this tomorrow. What are we looking at? What? Why could a chunk of the work on the shorter term be done to the downside? And why is it now I'm starting to see a little bit more of a chance that unless it's just some geopolitical economic something that comes out of the blue, I think we have a chance to, to have a, a nice rally next week. How long does it last is the question. Do we get out of this rectangle band, just go up and then come back down, up and down? That can go on for a while. Longer than your patience, your, longer than your patience, certainly. Jets. This is the U.S. Global Jets ETF. Look, monthly chart broke down from that rising uh, trend line. You've got a dreaded H pattern right here in the weekly chart. You've got the same as successful one so far in the, uh, this should be a B, not a C, uh, in the daily chart. But we'll be coming back from, from, this, um, from, the, from the whole COVID issue and all the variants. We will be coming back at some point. Or does it suddenly evolve that? You know that they talk about six to eight different variants from the original. That that's the usual thing in in a in a pandemic, and uh, maybe that that's a big factor because the more people get nervous about the news is 
cannot be good if you have another variant that's out there. So I'm just saying, watch this closely because if if Jess, the global ETF, trading at 20.36, manages in the next week and a half without breaking down under 19, no, under 19.30, can actually rally to the 22s as a 20.36 right now, and six, which is six, what is a six is? Uh oh, I wrote in the wrong place. Six, uh, this is entertainment, this is the outdoor entertainment. What is the full Sharpening thing? your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, so, folks, uh, Basil Chapman sitting for Tom O'Brien. As we wrap up here, what I wanted to say is, so Jets, I've spoken about that. That's the U.S. Airlines. Most importantly, I'm trying to put this together, and tomorrow for my, this is a, this is going to be a video that I usually do for my subscribers on a Saturday or a Sunday. It's quite a, long, a lengthy one. It's a video, and we just I discuss the positions we have, what we're looking at, what, but this is a little different. I want to go through different sectors. What I'm looking at, I want to discuss like I am now, uh, and it's it's free for subscribers. It's for subscribers, so you can subscribe, go to the front page of TFNN. But most importantly, it, it's going to be a lot more intricate than, than normal. Now, what I wanted to say is look how the 200 period moving average rejected jets, the U.S. global uh, ETF. Most importantly, if we can get something like six, which is six flags entertainment, which has almost the same pattern in the same area of entertainment, outdoor stuff. Look, right up against the monthly 
to the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. If this can start to rally next week, it's going to say, hey, looking out to the spring, things will be improving. I'll put this together right here with Disney. Uh, Disney is having a nice session today, but it's making this pattern. This is a much better pattern. You see this orderly higher highs and higher lows just consistently. I like that. That's, that's a good improvement for Disney. And that says maybe we're looking out at something quite positive. I'm way less negative today than I was before. We've kind of fulfilled a whole bunch of the things we were looking at. And now we need to see what happens next week. We'll try to prepare for that. And tomorrow during my, uh, my video overview, I'll probably be discussing kind of what we want to be doing, what we're looking at and what has worked, what hasn't worked, and what we need to be aware of. So let me just wrap this up and say uh, the Dow right now, INDU, is up uh, 400, uh, 500 points. Going right, look, it bumped it for the third time. It bumped into the, to the pink, nine-period exponential moving average. We want to see on Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon latest, up in the 35,000 above the 14 period exponential moving average, not back at 34,000, up at 35,000 and closing. And that'll be a really good sign. So much more positive. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, so you can talk about my show is the Tiger Technicians Hour every workday, 10 to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And my service is go for Check it out. Major to you for now. Have a wonderful